Hey everyone, so I've decided to hop on the bandwagon and make a last minute gift ideas video for makers and electrical enthusiasts. Let me tell you why you want to stick around for this. I've noticed my own family and friends have trouble buying me things in this category because they don't know what I already have. So I've tailored this list to fit into two categories. It'll include things that are more unique and your person likely doesn't have already, and things that I guarantee they want or need more of. I'll be suggesting a few items in three price tiers. The low price tier will include gift ideas for $30 or less. The middle price tier will have items from $30 to $100, and the higher price tier will include items from $100 to $500. And just for fun, I'm gonna throw in a crazy expensive but crazy cool suggestion at the end. You know, in case you just won the lottery or something. Also, I'm not doing affiliate links yet or anything, and I'm not being sponsored, so all of my suggestions are lit and legit. There will be links in the description and chapters if you just want to skip to your price tier. So let's do this. My first suggestion in the low price tier is some Node MCU ESP8266 boards. The heck is that, you ask? Well, let me tell you. These things are so cool. So maybe you've heard of Arduino, or maybe not, but if you've watched a few other videos like this or read some articles, I'll bet either an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi was near the top of that list. Those are cool gifts and all, but these little Node MCU boards are the coolest little things, and they're so cheap. You'll notice I suggested getting more than one because, well, they'll want more than one. So these things are microcontroller development boards, like the Arduino, but they run on a weird programming language called Lua. However, the firmware can be formatted to be used like an Arduino and programmed the same way. So if your person's already into Arduino, get them this. It's small, it's cheap, and unlike a normal Arduino board, it's Wi-Fi enabled. Yes, Wi-Fi enabled. One project example I used one of these for was a locker checkout system at my work. The locker system requires an RFID badge to check out tools, and if those tools aren't returned by the end of the shift, it emails the supervisor. There are so many possibilities with these things. Okay, moving on. My next suggestion in the low price tier is some breadboards and hookup wire. Now, this might not be the most exciting suggestion, but it's something I find I always need more of. I've built a lot of projects, and even though breadboards are meant for prototyping, I don't always want to take my projects apart. Here's just one example. This is an EEPROM programmer I built that runs on an Arduino Nano. I've used this a few other times for other projects since I built it, and I anticipate using it again in the future. Yeah, I could put it on something more permanent like a circuit board, and maybe someday I will, but in the meantime, I need more breadboards and hookup wire. So that's my whole point. All right, next suggestion. Are your holiday beneficiaries interested in computers? I have a book suggestion. It's called Code, and it's written by Charles Petzl. This book still has me baffled. It goes from an easy-going, lovely storytelling format in the beginning of the book, and before you know it, you're lost in a world of holy crap, what the heck is he talking about? Okay, well, that's a joke, but not really. It's my actual experience the first time I read this book, back before I knew anything about electronics. The book is meant to be accessible for everyone. It's meant for the average person who's interested in how computers work from a fundamental level. Well, it gets deep by the end. <laughs> I've read it three times. It's a cool book. Okay, I have one more suggestion for you in the low price tier. How about an entire electronics lab? I'm not even joking. So this cool little gadget right here that fits in the palm of my hand is literally an entire electronics lab. It's called Espotech Labrador, and it's an all-in-one device that includes an oscilloscope, a waveform generator, a power supply, a logic analyzer, and a multimeter. It has open source software that you run on your computer, and your computer acts as your display. Open source means it's free. Now, this thing does have its limits. It's meant for low power stuff like digital electronics, but if you're a parent supporting your kid's electronics hobby, and you don't want them to die, this is a great gift. The other caveat is it's not that easy to use. In many cases, you have to do some circuit analysis and add in some other components to make this thing work for what you're trying to measure. It's not a plug and play device, although you could tinker with it and build it to be easier to use if you want. It would be a cool project. In my case, I've invested a lot of money in more dedicated equipment that I can just turn on and dial in quickly to take whatever measurements I need. I rarely use this other than just for fun, but I like the idea of this thing as an entry-level, cost-effective solution to get 
an electronics lab started. With that said, it's not exactly for electrical beginners though. You do need to actually know how to do the circuit analysis needed in order to use it. But it's a really cool little gadget. All right, this concludes my low price gift tier. Please enjoy this intermission to take a breath and curb your enthusiasm. It's so exciting, we got so many cool things. But before we continue, I normally do funny quick tip videos about electrical stuff for the average Joe, and I also do videos about learning electronics for beginners. So consider subscribing or recommending me to your person. You know, maybe after they've gotten the super awesome gift I've recommended. Don't wanna spoil the surprise, but enough nonsense. Let's continue to even more cool stuff. Let's get into my mid-tier cool awesomeness. These items range from $30 to $100. I'm gonna be a bit of a sellout with my first suggestion and recommend an Arduino starter or sensors kit. I know it's generic and everyone recommends it, but it is a great gift idea, and these kits include many items your person will probably need or could use more of. Just look at all the cool things. We got buzzers, motors, and doodad thingies. It's got it all. I found at times with my own projects that often I need more than one of something that's included in these kits, which is why I put this on the list. They would appreciate either of these kits, even if they already have one. Okay, moving on. For my next magical, amazing suggestion, may I present to you the TS-100 soldering iron. Sol soldering? English is silly. Anyway, I love this little thing. I don't care if your person already has a soldering iron, get them this. I already have one, obviously, but I want another one to use at work. It's on my wish list. So what makes this so cool? Well, for one, it can be battery powered, which makes it portable. That's why I want one for work. Secondly, this thing heats up in about three seconds flat. I didn't think much of it when I first took it out of its packaging since it's so sleek and tiny, but wow was I wrong. And one more reason this gift is especially good for makers and electrical hobbyists this thing is open source as well. You can hook this up to your computer and with some free software, tinker with its settings and programming. One cool feature, for instance, that someone developed is that it senses when you set it down and it puts it into a safe standby mode. So you don't forget it's on and then burn down your house. That feature comes standard with all of these now. I love this thing. Also, there is a newer model called the TS-80 you might consider as well. It's a little more expensive and built from some more durable components. I chose to recommend the TS-100 because, well, it's what I own and I love it. Did I say I love it? I do. I'll leave links to both versions in the description. Okay, next item. So if your person's into making things, electrical or otherwise, you may have noticed my extremely cool metal pegboard system in the background of all of my videos. Heck, this metal pegboard could be good for anybody. You could even get the stainless steel version for pots and pans in your kitchen. But seriously, this pegboard system is made by a company called Wall Control, and it's great. I was hesitant when I first got it because it's a little pricey and I could have just used some normal pegboard, but I have no regrets about it. It looks nice and it's super sturdy. You can mix and match colors too. Their pegboard comes in two flavors. One style has only slots in it and is slightly cheaper, and the other has both slots and regular pegboard holes. Keep in mind, their slotted style is proprietary, so you have to use their hooks and accessories if you get the style with only slots. With that said, I highly recommend getting their accessories. I don't like using their regular pegboard holes. Their holes are slightly big, so it technically works with other pegboard hardware, but it's loose and it falls out easily. Maybe this was an intentional decision by then to get you to buy their accessories. Who knows? One of their selling points is that with their slotted system, the hooks and accessories are secured and won't fall out. The final thing I love about this is that since it's metal, unlike normal pegboard, you can use magnets on it as well. Okay, second intermission. This concludes the mid-price tier collection of gift ideas. Time to grab the popcorn, cause things about to be popping. All right, my last price tier gift idea list falls in the range of 100 to $500. And don't forget, I've got a special bonus, crazy cool, but crazy expensive gift idea at the end, so stick around. The first thing on my higher tier list is a Maker Beam kit. This is an item from my personal wish list that I don't have yet. Maker Beam is like Legos for adults. It's precision machined aluminum structural beam with hardware that's easily integrated wherever you need it. Makers use this stuff for all kinds of things, from robots to 3D printers. We even have production machines at work that use this stuff. It's quite useful. 
I'd like to build my own 3D printer from scratch someday with this stuff, which is why it's on my wish list. And that's a great segue into my next suggestion, a 3D printer. If your person is a maker or electrical tinkerer, they need one. It's so nice to just be able to sketch something up and have it made while you wait. And wait you will, because 3D printing is a slow process. Hence this item is on my list because even if they already have one, they would love another one. You know, to multitask and speed things up. There is a wide range of printers out there that fall into very cheap to very expensive categories. I'm recommending the one I own because, well, I own it. And I love it. It's an older Kiti Tech Pro. It's a mid-tier printer at just under $500. You can find cheaper ones for sure, but I've been very happy with this one. If you want a cheaper one, Kiti, man, Kiti's hard to say. If you want a cheaper one, Kiti offers another model that's half the price. It comes with only one extruder though, meaning you can only print one color at a time, and it has a smaller build area. You can't make as many big things with it. Build area is one of the main trade-offs you get with a cheaper printer. I'll leave a link to both models in the description. Okay, if that book I mentioned earlier about how computers work piqued your interest, then pay attention for this next suggestion. I'm gonna tell you about my absolute all-time favorite project I've ever done. It's the Ben Eater 8-bit breadboard computer. Ben Eater is a fellow YouTuber who does computer videos. He has a website where he sells part kits for his project tutorials. In his 8-bit breadboard computer tutorial, you literally build a computer from scratch on breadboards. Maybe you've heard someone brag about how they built a new gaming computer over the weekend when really all they did was plug in a motherboard and a graphics card, but they have no idea how those components actually work on a fundamental level. This 8-bit breadboard computer kit teaches you how all that stuff works, and it's all hands-on. There's no better way to learn. Now for the catch. I almost didn't include this because according to his website, you have to order the kit by today, December 13th, 2020, in order to receive it by Christmas. However, he has parts lists on his website as well. And you could rush order the parts through the other suppliers that he recommends, such as Amazon or Jamico. He has affiliate links on his website for the individual parts for the project. I'll leave a link in the description to his website. I just couldn't not include this suggestion because it really is my absolute favorite thing I've ever done. One last catch though. Although he does make this project very approachable, I don't think it's appropriate for absolute electrical beginners. There was one spot specifically I had to stretch my electrical knowledge and add on some extra circuitry because something wasn't working the way he showed it in the videos. All right, I have one more suggestion for you in the higher price tier category before I tell you about my ultimate bonus crazy expensive gift suggestion. It's a portable power supply. No, I'm not talking about something you just charge your phone with on the go. I'm talking about a full blown solar rechargeable AC generator that runs on batteries. This is an item on my wish list that I don't have yet but really want. There are a range of different ones out there that can supply different amounts of power, but I've narrowed it down to one in particular. I'm recommending the Jackery Portable Power Station Explorer 500. They have several models available and prices are based on how much power it can put out. But this one I feel has enough power to cover anything I might use it for. I also love the fact that you can add on solar panels for recharging. So if you're planning a camping trip or something and you're planning to binge watch Netflix, while you're camping, then this'll allow you to do just that on your big screen TV. Yay! <laughs> okay, I hope you've gotten value out of this video. Let me know in the comments down below what gift suggestion seems right for your person. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe because that's what all the cool people are doing. Now, I told you I had one last bonus, crazy expensive, really, really cool gift idea for you for watching the whole video, which I know you did. All right, how about this? How about a freaking laser? Like a real one. Not the lame kind your dog or cat likes to chase around. Okay, well those are actually kind of fun too, but I'm talking about a real laser cutter that cuts things and fits on your desktop. How cool is that? The item I'm talking about is called a Glowforge. It's a CNC desktop laser cutter and engraver, and its price falls in the several thousand dollars category. Ouch. Okay, besides it being really, really expensive, maybe I should resist being too excited about it since because it's a desktop laser, it's safe and low power. And because it's low power, it can't cut metal. Lame. 
It can engrave metal, though, and it can cut other things like acrylic, wood, paper, and a range of other materials designed for it. It can cut these things up to a half inch thick, and if you really want to cut metal but can't afford a 4,000 watt laser, then you can make templates and jigs with this thing for cutting metal with other tools. Go check it out. Convince yourself to start an Etsy store or something to justify getting one. Cause, you know, I have. <laughs> or just drool over it like me. All right, thanks for watching. I have no more nonsense for you today. So this is Life Meet Lightning, bringing a little lightning into your life. This thing can cut food? Wonder if I could cut jello jigglers on this thing. Nah, I'd probably catch on fire. Sugar's flammable. <gasps> Flaming jello jigglers! I could totally sell that on eBay. <laughs>